first take. So you can see that here, compared to the futures, everybody, that's live, you're only down 70 handles. Now watch how this increases from that opening bell. All right. Now look at the NASDAQ comp down 52 handles, and today is 6.30 a.m. 6.1, starting June off. Now let's take a look at where these stocks will hit their, let, let's take a look at that fear level now. And let's take a look at the progression, but not only that, we're looking for a downside capitulation where markets would find support and balance. Yes, I know I gave the 565 calls and all of this stuff way below the market. This is just the first phase of them. And basically the bids were for electronic capitulation. And yes, knowing how to buy these lower end expiration here I'm a dollar eighty seven right here. She's closed that's that five seventy call on Apple. Yeah. And we got bids way below the market now. And yeah, we got bids and marking this one down seven eighty on the opening bell. We're down hundred and fifteen handles. And we've been open for one minute. And the Euro is getting a little bit of pop right now. And what we're going to do is let the selling climax and then we're going to find where the 570 call over here on Google is down here 350 it's only a dollar range but look at the woodshed is in play they close at 1110 yes they did as the Dow tumbles and we get to steal the bids yes we do and you get in a little pop that's your little volatility it's called capitulation volatility and you can see right on the opening bell that you got people popping in there you have 58 million dollars that are trying to buy the dip and because it's a full day ahead of us and the bell has only been open 10 minutes we'll revisit it but I'm letting people know in the two minutes that you got 149 150 points here and we're looking for that lowest support level where that S&P 500, if it snaps below 1285, it would cause some more downside pressure. Now, understanding market volatility, when the sellers clear out, there'll be short-term trades, as always. Whether bull or bear doesn't matter. What does matter, though, is, is that you're right here, right now, stealing the beat. So we talked about Google's range on the opening bell, 572, 570, 38. We got 10 lows. We got 16 lows. So they're not burning extreme amount of lows. And let us not forget that beloved price line that just popped $4 off the bottom. Yeah, I had bids way below the market. These close at $26. They're right here at the low on that $600 call. So we're ready for that one. And the 610 call, well, it made a low of 420, you guys. And that was your bounce in two minutes. This stock has been marked down like all of them. And yes, I had lower bids based on capitulation. I got a 290 range. The thing about the 610 call is that right now, even though that they're still selling on the opening bell, we're going to have the high range and we have the low range of 534 within a three minute print. Now, granted, these were 420 on the first pass. However, we have, I'm going to give people bids right now on this one at $3.50 as we watch the opening bell on Priceline. And another thing we're going to do clearly is watch how the bottom reversals get in on these left elbows. When those sellers clear out of the way, that's when stocks will find support.